And tonight, I'm traveling on the latest A350 of Air Mauritius. Quite nice, more than airport. We're just in the busy stage of the crew, just preparing for the flight. Three tons will be passing over Ethiopia, Egypt, over the Mediterranean. Runway one full clear for takeoff. Engine number one, which is on the left hand side, and this is engine number two, which is on the right hand side. I will show you guys where we do rest on this aircraft. Well, I actually found a really good, like a sweet heart seat. Very colorful dish. Well, it's called Pierre Charlotte with salted caramel sauce. So I think I'm gonna hit the bed now. We had to ask Air Traffic Control to go further east of track to avoid the weather. Five degrees right now on the ground in Paris. So bring the warmer clothes. had a beautiful and exciting day ahead of us. First, we had a look at an Air Mauritius hangar here. Right behind, as you recognize, is the brand new A330-900 NEO airplane. Air Mauritius just received a second airplane. And this airplane is powered by Rolls-Royce Trent 7000 engine. So it's a bit more powerful than the old version A330. And look at the beautiful line of the plane and the curve. And the whole plane is just so new and shiny. Now we are going out to the runway to do a bit of plane spotting. Follow me. We're actually on the runway at Mauritius Airport right now, on 1432, right on the runway during a break between the traffic. Just enjoying my beautiful break, sunbathing at the airport. So I can do two things, plane spotting and sunbathing at the same time, Mauritius. Today I'm out on sightseeing, but there's a lot, a lot of traffic in Mauritius. This morning peak hours here, hours of traffic jam. Today the first activity is going to a safari park and walking with lions. So Sam, are you ready to walk with our big lion here? So his name is Mambo. He's four years old and 250. Wow! Kilos. I think let's go, man. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Let's go. That 
that really woke me up. Oh, I survived the lion walk. On a safari bus with all the school kids. This is like real Africa. Look at the shape of the trees, the landscape here. Very, very nice. Lots of fun here, lots of animals inside. Got to see all these animals. Very cool. Wow, look at the colors here. Seven Colors Earth. Well, the most amazing setting in the pool here. Look at the sunset here. Oh my god, this is amazing. It's just like beautiful pool and the ocean and the atlas. Look at this, 1952, it took four days to fly from Paris to uh, Mauritius. And tonight, I'm traveling on the latest A350 of Air Mauritius. It will take just 12 hours to go back to Paris. Let's go, guys. We actually see there's last minute upgrade deals at the airport check in. Here's the rates here. The Paris 26,000 rupees. That's pretty good. 600 euros, 12 hours flight, last minute upgrade. Wow, it looks like very colorful here. Quite nice, more than the airport. Uh, Chu, where we're going yeah. to the lounge, Wi-Fi password. Okay. And for the service, it will be upstairs level two. Oh, go upstairs. Yes. Okay. There's a bridge in this lounge. Different style to downstairs. I shouldn't eat at the buffet in the restaurant. I should have come to the lounge. Look at this, my favorite biryani here with potatoes. So they were just telling me it has this Green Island rum, a Mauritian rum inside a cocktail. It's quite refreshing actually. Just for the camera out there. Today's flight, we are very lucky. We receive uh, flight deck permission to film. Um, we're just in the busy stage of the crew, just preparing for the flight and cross-checking the uh, weight on the airplane, the fuel, um, preparing to leave. There's a takeoff weight actual of 263.3 tons. 
We're getting airborne off Mauritius, runway 14, which is the southeasterly direction, turning out left, taking us over the north of the island. But take us over the Indian Ocean towards Somalia. We'll be passing over Ethiopia, uh, we'll be Khartoum, Egypt, over the Mediterranean, and then along the uh, east coast of Italy, uh, over the Alps, just north of uh, Geneva where we start our descent for Paris and at the moment the forecast is for us to land in a easterly direction in Paris. You're ready for departure. Are ready for pushback and start may I release the park break? Yes sir, clear. Thank you starting engines. Starting engines? Two. Park breakers set, we've had normal start, you can disconnect, signals on the left hand side, thank you. Okay, so avoid having a flight, see on the left hand side for us Thank you, good night. Roger. Mauritius 3 4, clear from Mauritius to Paris Charles de Gaulle via Okuma 1 departure. Flat one route, flat well two four zero. Mauritius three four, clear to Paris Charles de Gaulle, Okma one, climbing flat well two four zero. Yeah, Mauritius three four, read back correct. Enter backtrack line up runway one four, start extension. Enter backtrack line up, start extension runway three four, Mauritius three four. Enter backtrack, start extension. Mauritius three four, ready for departure. Air yeah, Mauritius 34, wind 150 degrees, 8 knots, runway 14, cleared for takeoff. Takeoff. Mauritius 46, X Rays, runway 1 at Rasmus. Checked. Fresh set. 100 knots, check. on board was 77 tons of fuel that's in uh, kilograms and uh, when we land we, we estimated telling us now we should land with seven tons of fuel on on landing the fuel consumption on average is approximately six tons per hour on a typical 11 hour flight just an idea how close the tolerances are if you Engine number one, which is on the left hand side, and this is engine number two, which is on the right hand side. Just look at the temperatures of this engine. It's within one degree Celsius, 790, well, it's exactly the same, 790. That's the exhaust gas temperature. Incredibly stable. You just look at the fuel flow 5,280, 5,290 kilograms per hour, 5,270. They are so close to each other. Uh, being in flight relief on this flight, so I'm going to take the first rest. I will show you guys where we do rest on this aircraft. And uh, we normally uh, have about three hours rest, which is which is a uh, league, I mean mandatory on long haul flights. Okay, so just follow me, please. So we have two berths here, just behind the cockpit. Yeah, this is a flight flight crew rest. And for the cabin crew, it's, it's at the back. It's a mandatory minimum of three hours in order to be able to extend on long haul flights. So the flight's not full. I actually found a really good 
like a sweet hot seat, the honeymoon seat, the middle pair too. Um, the seats are the same as the A330neo we flew from London to Mauritius. However, even the A350 is actually extra wide body, the seat here is wider. So uh, there is an advantage to fly the A350 because now I can see the seat is actually a bit more spacious in terms of the width. Table built inside. And here the fold, okay. Interesting. The restaurant dining style, no tray, everything served like this. Pour the I tried to have it out. Right. Yeah. It's a beautiful wine. Very colorful dish. Green, yellow, red. Chicken. Mauritian chili. Green chili. Mauritian chili? Yes, if you like green chili, you will like it. Oh, that's danger you again. <laughs> you want to try it? Oh, yes. You will see fire coming out of my mouth. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. Ooh. Just the smell of it, it goes to your nose and then, you know, if you have a blocked nose, it will clear. It's a nice starter with poached salmon. Can't go wrong with salmon, really. I'm going to try it out the main course now. It's quite. Uh, it's got full of spices inside. Um, it's okay. It's not very hot. I haven't touched the green stuff. I'm a bit scared of the green stuff. The green stuff is actually the spinach puree uh, with corn. Uh, you know, and then it's a red sauce chicken with saffron rice. <laughs> What is the dessert? It's caramel. Oh, it's called Pier Charlotte with salted caramel sauce. There's a pier inside it. Pier Charlotte. Very sweet. The crew served the dinner really quick. Within an hour, everything's done because people are ready to go to bed and sleep. We had an 11 p.m. takeoff. I think all in all it was all right for a quick supper. Um, not the best meal I've tried, but nothing went wrong as well. It's 38 past midnight, so uh, everything's done within an hour and a half after takeoff. So I think I'm gonna hit the bed now. The A350 eye shade. Good night. Checking at the moment is uh, taking us clear of the weather, but I'm now having a look for my own interest. That white line, I can slice the weather at 80 miles and it's telling me how high, regardless of how high the weather is. We're at 40,000 feet, but the weather is up above us. We've had to ask air traffic control to go further east of track to avoid the weather. It will take us nicely clear of all the uh, thunderstorms. Panama Mauritius surfing for clear of weather, routing direct position on south. Thank you Mauritius, 3-4. about uh, a northerly wind at about 35 knots. So as a precaution, we put the seatbelts on. The air was becoming a little bit unstable. So we'll be turning off the seatbelts uh, now, in fact. And we should be landing in about 50 minutes. The latest weather is good in Paris. The temperature at the moment 
It's rather chilly at 5 degrees Celsius. And thank you so much for all the explanation about the technology feature on the A350. Uh, it's a pleasure, it's a pleasure. Temperature drastically dropped while we were approaching Paris. It was 28 degrees in Mauritius, 5 degrees right now on the ground in Paris. So bring the warmer clothes, holiday's over. <laughs>